Agriscience. When most people hear the term, an image of farm fields, crops, and livestock come to mind. But careers in agriscience span a wide range of skill sets, from high-end sciences, engineering, and technology, to healthcare, nutrition, and even business. Think about the chemistry, biology, and engineering needed to research, create, and bring to market foods, nutritional supplements, and pharmaceutical products needed to keep humans and animals healthy. Veterinary sciences have moved beyond your family vet to specialists such as chiropractic, dentistry, radiology, anesthetists, and even oncologists. There are also numerous careers in food inspection and regulation to help keep us safe and make us happy through floral design, landscape and turf management, and numerous recreational activities. There, there is a growing interest in looking at the nexus between food, between energy, the environment, water, people, um, our communities. And so how, when you look at all these things working together, how can we look at the big system of that and, and see how our science can help solve those problems? Because they're very complicated. Students in the state of Connecticut have the option to attend an agri-science high school as part of the state's school choice initiative. Using agriscience as the vehicle, students are exposed to a three-point model of education, focusing first on a rigorous academic program, including high-end science, technology, engineering, and math classes. Participation in the National FFA Student Organization demonstrates leadership and civic responsibility. And third, a supervised agricultural experience will apply and help learn new skills while on the job. What benefits does participation in an agri-science program have for our young people? This video takes a look at the career outlook for the vast field of agri-science from a Connecticut perspective. Sciences are very rich and cut across so many topics. I think when we think of agriculture, we think of these big rural environments, but we're going to have very high-tech agriculture right in the middle of our cities. And it's, it's a great opportunity and, and it really offers us an opportunity to bring to bring a whole new food supply to those urban markets. You know, we do have nurseries, we have greenhouses, we have people who work with turf and recreational fields for sporting, you know, so, so all, of the, all of the football fields, baseball fields around the country are managed by people who come through College of Agriculture and talk about a great job. I mean, imagine being the groundskeeper for Fenway Park or a Yankee Stadium. I mean, it's just, you know, those are fantastic jobs and you wouldn't think of that as traditional agriculture. The 22 million jobs in a broad field of agriculture and, and the uh, increasing in, in biosecurity and biosafety and, and food safety and food science and, and, um, and so they open up many more jobs and opportunities that are out there for the students as well. In the state of Connecticut there's a greenhouse that provides most of the East Coast, all the Home Depots, with all of their, their plant product. So we actually teach the kids in a real work-based environment. We have multiple greenhouses that the students actually work in and grow their own product. I had one uh, person from a larger company tell me the one thing they liked about the ag students was the business information they received in their record keeping that no other student organization or no other career and technical education area does. These students learn to keep records, their financial records, their records of uh, supplies and materials. Uh, so many of our students, I know many former FFA members are working for some of the larger industries in their business area, in the sales uh, area. Uh, many of these companies love the FFA students because of their ability to speak and their ability to um, encourage people to use products that, that they're marketing. So we see many of our former FFA and Ag Science students go into sales and marketing for, for some of the different companies. Um, the Agri Science program in general has taught me so much uh, from just skills in agriculture. Um, this has been really helpful with cultivation and horticulture. Uh, landscape management, uh, learning about different plant identification, tool identification, uh, weed tests, things like that within the classroom and then outside of the classroom, learning things like leadership, uh, team building, public speaking, just learned so many different types of things, not just about agriculture, but the program in general just teaches you really character and uh, leadership qualities as well. The agriculture program has the opportunity to teach the kids skills and knowledge in the classroom and then figure out a way to apply it into the real world. 
we're using agriculture as a teaching resource, but the students, as Emily mentioned, it's leadership, it's citizenship, it's cooperation. It's coming up with a plan and then figuring out how to make it happen. And I think that, that, that those skills are transferable wherever you go. Uh, the students figure out how to problem solve. And so whether you're talking about animals or plants or natural resources, it's that problem solving that that's the real key to learning. So no matter where they go after high school, they have that skill set. Uh, we have probably 85% of post-secondary education coming out of uh, our program here. You can also come out of our program with upwards of 25 to 30 college credits of what we call ECE courses, early college experience. So not only the hands-on component with SAE, but also the curriculum and academics that they can have. So they're, like you were saying, when you hire them, they're well-rounded students that really have a, a leg up. Why agri-science? Stretching well beyond the borders of Connecticut, the problems facing our world today center on developing sustainable ways to feed, shelter, and power a growing population, while conserving the precious natural resources of our planet. The answers to these problems will lie with a future generation of professional scientists, engineers, technologists, business, and financiers. Already, employment in these fields have grown by 4.5% since 2005, and are projected to grow another 4.9% in the next five years. Students participating in an agri-science program will have a four-year leg up on their peers and will enter college ready to tackle these global issues.